Hi, this is Sean Sweeney. I'm a speech and language pathologist and the author of the blog Speech Techie. And I often get the question of how people can use their iPad in teaching larger groups or a group of, of kids or of professionals and wanting to be able to show your iPad to a bigger group using, say, a smart board or a projector. So we wanted to make this video today to um, show how you can do this. I have my uh, graduate student intern here, Jen, who's doing the, the filming, if you want to say hi, Jen. Hello. And uh, we're going to show some of the steps, because there are a number of options for this. So a question I often get is regarding interactive whiteboards. So if you have smart boards in your school, or Promethean boards, which are brands of interactive whiteboards, people are often curious whether they can use those boards in conjunction with the iPad uh, to run an activity with the group. So the answer is yes, but the answer is also no, uh, because you can use these boards visually to show what's on the iPad screen, but you're not going to be able to interact with the smart board and cause things to change on the iPad itself. So I'll show that here today. So we're first going to be looking at the cords for the interactive whiteboard. So you can see coming from the base of the interactive whiteboard that we have two key and important cords. Okay, this one is called a VGA cable. It's actually a combined cable that um, includes VGA, which is the video, and also an audio cable, which would be um, connect to the speakers of the smart board, and you can connect this to the headphone jack of your iPad so that the sound can be projected. But this VGA cable is an important uh, piece. This is what's going to allow what's on the screen of the iPad to show up on the screen of the smart board. This is called a USB cable. You're familiar with it from probably other tools. And this is what allows a user to touch the surface of the smart board and make something happen on their computer. So the iPad does not have a USB port and probably won't in the future. Um, so this is the reason why when you touch the screen of the smart board, nothing will happen on the iPad. But we're going to show how to, sh how to at least show uh, a group what's going on on your iPad screen using the VGA cable and a special adapter. So the adapter that, we, that is important, and this is one that comes in very handy, it's called the Apple VGA to iPad uh, adapter. So these cost about $25, $30, and what they do is they go in right here, and you can screw that in, and this part of the adapter is going to connect to the base of the iPad, the same uh, port that you put your charger in, uh, and that's what we do there. So let me do that now. And I'm going to use this iPad to do that. So it goes into the base like this. And it doesn't always immediately show up, as you see here. What I find helpful some of the time is to, yep, it did anyways. But some of the time it helps to, that's turned up way too loud. It helps to lock the iPad or put it to sleep and then wake it up. Okay, so when I do that, there's my iPad that's visible to uh, the whole class, and the apps will function um, as they generally do. I do notice some apps, uh, some of the time, will not mirror uh, exactly, so they don't show exactly, but those apps are sort of few and far between. So if I open up the Disneyland app here, this is Disneyland Explorer, if you wanted to do a lesson about uh, different genres, this is Fantasyland, and what you'll notice is, though, if I tap here on the smart board, nothing is happening because this surface isn't communicating with the iPad. It's just a video uh, transmission. But if I tap on the screen of the iPad, I get the effects that I expect. So it functions as you would expect. So that is one way to use your iPad with a group if you have smart boards available using the VGA cable and the Apple uh, iPad to VGA adapter. You'll be able to show a group what's on your iPad and also if I were to connect this speaker here, you can hear the sounds that are associated with Okay, so a few minutes ago you saw how you can connect an iPad to a VGA cable. 
using the iPad to VGA adapter. Okay. You saw that with a smart board, but this also goes if your classroom is equipped with any kind of LCD projector. So, can we show the LCD projector so people know what I mean by that? That little uh, monstrosity down there, which uh, lets you project a computer in general. Okay, so I'm also just going to connect this adapter here to the VGA cable. You saw that kind of cable coming out of the smart board before. And now I'm going to connect that to the iPad. It goes into the um, port that you use to charge. Okay? And here we are. We're showing the iPad screen. You also would want, if there's any audio involved, to connect any speakers that you would have uh, that would facilitate the whole class being able to hear uh, what's going on on the iPad, but you can simply then interact with the iPad. So as you're working up here, you'll be able to show what's going on on your <laughs> iPad to the class so they can talk about it. Another option, if you can see here, this is a document camera, a certain brand called an Elmo. So one way to show what's on your iPad screen to a class is to use the Elmo. So I'm going to turn on the Elmo here, and this can be done with any kind of document camera. But now, what's happening is the camera's showing what's down on my table, the cord that was uh, put in is no longer important, and you can kind of zoom in to show um, a group of people what's on an iPad screen. It helps to turn the light off, okay? And what's nice about this is if you're ever teaching people how to do something on the iPad, in this case, they'll be able to see what's where you're tapping on the screen. So it helps them kind of know uh, what it is that they're supposed to do as they tap so they can be tap around. I'm not going to actually buy that out. So those are a couple of options within the classroom. So I'm going to show you another option here, which is using the Apple TV. This is an option that people have been exploring in education, uh, chiefly because it allows you to use the interactivity of the iPad screen, but with fewer wires. Um, basically, it involves a process called mirroring, where the Apple TV picks up the signal of your uh, iPad and can project it to a group through its device, which is the Apple TV. So I wanted to show you over here, um, if you can just come over and show. Okay, the Apple TV, people often think, is an actual physical TV. It's actually a uh, set-top device. It's just this little black box that picks up the network signal and it runs its own software, which you sort of saw over there behind me. Uh, it is electrical, so you have to plug it in um, to get the power source, but the output of the Apple TV is HDMI. So that's the kind of output is, that is used for HD TVs, and it's the output that's used for things like the PlayStation 3. So earlier in our video, what we were t talking about was VGA um, input and output. So what we do with the Apple TV is we actually need a converter box, which is what you see here. Okay, This is an HDMI to a VGA converter box. So what that does is convert the signal from HDMI uh, to a VGA signal. And you've already seen this before. The blue cable, this blue cable is a VGA cable and what it does is it connects the uh, projector to an input source. So you can see that going into the projector. Okay, so the way that this works with the Apple TV, the Apple TV has a little remote that controls it. I just woke it up is we're going to use that process that's called mirroring and I need to tell the iPad that I want to that I want it to mirror to an Apple TV. Okay, what we do here and I'll provide a link to this so that people can see the exact steps is I need to bring up the multitasking bar. You can see here that I've got the dock available, but I'm going to double click here to bring up the multitasking bar. All right. When I sweep to the which way am I going? To the right. <laughs> All right. 
I can see this little special icon here that looks like a little TV with an arrow going into it. That's the AirPlay um, icon. And what that does is it's going to let me AirPlay mirror to the Apple TV. The reason this button appears, and you may not see one on yours, is it only appears when an Apple TV is present in the network someplace that you can actually mirror to. So your iPad and Apple TV need to be on the same network. When you set up an Apple TV, it lets you um, join a network just kind of like, you know, the menu looks a lot like um, on the iPad. So I'm actually going to turn this on. And you can see it's giving me a few choices here of what I want to mirror to. And I'm going to select Apple TV and I'm going to turn it on. Let me just see. Sorry. Select Apple TV and turn it on. And look behind me. You can see now that the screen of my iPad is projected to the Apple TV uh, and the projector, of course. So now the great, things about the great thing about this is I can hand my iPad to anyone in the room um, and the kids can interact with it in order to use um, any app they like. Let me open an app here so you can see. If I wanted to work with Big Nate uh, Comics by You and have uh, and show a comic that a child made in the group, I would be able to do that. Or if I wanted to create a comic with them and talk about the story or talk about the narrative, I would be able to do that. And I don't need to be tethered to any kind of cable. And that's how this connection works, which was iPad mirroring to Apple TV through the HDMI to VGA converter box to the projector and no wires over the wireless network. Okay, and the last option I'm going to show is only available currently uh, to people who have a Mac computer. So if you have a MacBook or MacBook Pro, um, this is yet another option for getting your iPad screen uh, viewable by a group. And it's using an app called Reflection. It's actually a Mac app, meaning that you won't find it in your iPad app store. It's an application that you can download from a website um, and Reflection lets you uh, mirror the iPad screen through your computer. Okay, so what you see behind me here is that the computer is currently projecting through the projector, which yeah. many times. Okay, this is actually using a different adapter some of you may be familiar with. Um, it, this is called a mini DVI to VGA adapter. So again, the VGA is involved. Okay, and I've installed Reflection on my computer here. Reflection is actually available um, as a free trial, so you can download it and install it on your computer and try it out for 10 minutes at a time to see if this is going to work for you. Um, and then you can purchase it, which I think is $15 currently. So this is going to use the same process that the iPad to Apple TV really used, a mirroring process. So my Macintosh and my, um, my iPad have to be on the same network in order for um, the Mac to find, uh, or the iPad to find the, the uh, app over here on the, the Mac. And what I'm going to do is bring up that screen again in the multitasking bar. And you can see that because I have the Apple TV set up, that's one of my options, but I also can see my computer here. So that's the name of my computer. So if I select that, and turn mir mirroring is turned on, now you can see something different going on behind me. So you can see that the, um, the iPad is actually streaming or mirroring to the uh, laptop over there, and I can show the screen of my iPad here. So everything I do over here is going to be um, mirrored over to the Mac, which is showing to everyone, but, by the way. Those are, those are all the options you can do to get your iPad screen viewed by a bunch of people um, to make an interesting learning situation. Thanks a lot.